Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to this section 2, um, part 3 of this tutorial where we're looking at well, how to install VST and use VST plugins in FL Studio. Really simple, let's go straight into this. So we're here at section 2 and we are looking at how to use VST plugins. You can get more links in the more description below to come to this page and follow the whole tutorials. As you can see, there's loads of tutorials like how to start a project, making full EDMB, workflow tips. There's like everything you need to really know to start off in FL Studio. Now, uh, in this part, you know, we'll be looking at VST plugins. So if you right click here, insert, so right click, insert, you will get all these different plugins come up, as you can see, you know, and right here you will have like some of the most used VST plugins which are in FL Studio like Citrus, it's a really cool plugin, you'll also have Flex, they'll all be differently aligned because this is demonstrated on how I use the plugin. So for example, let's load up Citrus. This is a plugin that comes over for Studio and got loads of cool sounds, as you can see. Really cool sounds. And you can just kind of just flick through it over here just by clicking on this little arrow and different sounds. Now, if you want to go and preload different section of the sounds, you would click on this little arrow just over here. And this is on most of the VSTs, they will have presets. Click on this, and then you just click on presets, and boom, this page will open up. Uh, manually and you can you can see there's loads of like bells so bells drums chromatics uh, sound effects pads you know different pads um, you would have like percussions different percussion sounds plucked sounds really cool like the mallet I like the mallet listen to this Obviously here in Citrus you've got different sounds, different settings, really cool and you can kind of just flick through the different sounds. You know? So there's a lot of cool VSTs but you guys can also download VSTs so we're gonna go and download one quick VST plugin from the internet. So I'm gonna go download free VST plugins and I'm doing this because you guys will probably do this so you would type in download free VST plugins to download VST plugins of course so I'm gonna click on this click on the first one that's what you would probably also do and you know you were gonna go and click and download one VST plugin into FL Studio so something that's pretty quick now I know that these you know let's have a look at this Blamsoft VK1 Okay, so we click on it, let it load up. Go and download the synth. So here it is. So we're just gonna go onto the website, download now, download the synth. So it's downloading. It is 200 megabytes. So I'm gonna skip. Mmm, good old Stella. So here we are, we have now downloaded it, so what you do is you would just, you know, go into a download folder, so you would open it up, if you're using Google Chrome you can just click on it and show in folder. Uh, if you don't, usually you'd look into your download folder, which will be your location where it's downloaded in. And as you can see here on the screen, it's called Viking Synthesizer. Now we can't just put that into and drag it into our studio, we need to extract it and open it up. So usually you can download Rinrow or something. So if you actually go to this actual page below the video, there's links to Rinrow and stuff, how to extract zip files. Really, really cool tutorial, quick step by step. So you can click on this and we're going to just click on this installation, which is inside this folder. Now it comes in Mac and Windows, which is really cool. We are only going to use the Windows, and it's just a DLL file, really simple. So I'm just going to click on it, uh, right click. Well, I'm just going to click on it, and yeah, just right click and copy. Just copy it. So right click and copy, or you can just leave it open and just minimize it for now. Now we're going to go into our actual computer. So we're going to go into our computer. We're going to go programs. Um, we'll just open up the computer, simple as that. Go into the local disk C 
and then you will have something called program files and program files 86 if you click on program files it will open up your actual programs and then if you type in V it will take you to VST plugins which is over here VST plugins so you will see in here you've got loads of different DLL files, different kind of VSTs that we're using and we, we are, you know, we're using or purchased or downloaded for free. So we would we can go back to this Viking uh, thing and we can just simply click on it and drag it across. So click, drag and drop and that's it. I just click on continue. You need to click on continue and here it is over here. Obviously if you don't do it like that, you can go onto this file um, right click copy files to clipboard clipboard <laughs> can't even pronounce it sorry and then you would just right click anywhere and click on paste and continue does the same thing see that and there it is and now if we go back to FL Studio and we wanna listen to it if you go to the VSTs it won't actually show up if you click on more plugins this will show you all the plugins you've got right so right click insert and then more plugins which is over here it's not gonna come up that's because we haven't loaded it up into FL Studio to load up VST plugin we need to click on add here at the top more plugins and then once we click on more plugins we need to click down here manage VST plugins and this will open up the the box where we actually scan for new plugins and every time you install a new VST or any DLL file or any new sound like that is instrument based on that requires installation not VAV files or MP3 files then you need to find the actual plugin and you need to go up here on the screen and click on find the plugin and this will just run through the screen sometimes it will just come up and show you everything that it's loading but most of the times it will just be blank with this little screen down here showing you what it's running like scanning and it will change occasionally uh, you know as it's running and scanning so we're gonna let that run quickly as you can see it's changing it takes about a minute to complete while that happens I've got a quick backup a little bit of um. British beer, Stella. So have it in just you know just one quick pint. Okay, so when it loads up, this is what it looks like. Pretty cool, you know. You get all the VSTs. How do you actually? How can you visualize the VSTs been loaded? While well, you're looking for something that is yellow or orange and stands out so let's have a look we're dragging down we're looking for an orange VST oh there's one so you see that that's the one that's just been loaded awesome so when you click on this it would actually feature it so you can feature it but you don't have to but I like to do it because I just loaded it up give it a little star and just click on the X it's loaded and ready to go then what you need to do is right click insert more plugins okay so I'm gonna do it again right click insert more plugins and you get this screen come up and when you go down boom there it is Viking synthesizer really cool so we just double click on it and there it is look at that guys now we just downloaded a synth for free which is free to use Now obviously if you don't like some of the sims, I'm going to give you a quick tip here on this tutorial. Some of these sims when you download them guys, they will sound crap, I'm being honest. And this one doesn't sound too good. So what you want to do is add a channel effect. Now we'll cover more about channel effects later, but simply by adding a channel effect, you can follow some of the tutorials, we can make these VST sound so much better. So I'll add this to channel effect 11, add a bit of reverb to it. See that? And straight away. See that? Changing a bit of um, velocity, like the parametric EQ. Maybe add sound good denizer to it. And we just went from this sound, really crap, to this. 
Sira. So, this is what I'm here to do. I'm here to teach you all the tricks, all the basics, and everything you need to know in FL Studio. All right, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe. Let's look at part four of this tutorial now. And part four, guys, of this tutorial is we'll be looking um, how. Let's have a look where it is. Part four: How to save and export high-definition MP3 files in FL Studio. Really cool. So I'm going to show you straight away how we can do that and export high MP3 definitions of your projects that you've got in FL Studio.